the first time I had shishito peppers was the first time I had sushi. Um, it was on the menu, and I ended up ordering them, and the, the guy was kind of like, uh, one out of ten is spicy. I, I felt like I got every one out of ten. Like, they saved them all for me. Uh, but I love the way that, how it's smoky and the flavor and, you know, everything about it just got me. So today we're going to be doing some shishito peppers. All of us have either had them or we probably see them at the supermarket and kind of like, what are these things? Are they jalapenos? Why are they shivered up for? So the cool thing about these, one out of 10 is hot. You know, um, go to any sushi place, they're going to have them. And then what we have here is the aioli that we had made earlier. And uh, aioli, we can make whatever flavors you want. So like, you want to do like mayonnaise and chipotle, mix it together, you have that. And then that, that's a really cool dipping sauce for these guys. So we're going to go over here. My pan's are really scorching hot. You see it going craziness. So what we're going to do is just throw them all in there. So right now, we have the peppers going, right? What we try to do is blister them, right? And we're trying to get that smokiness that we're gonna get out of that char that it gets, okay? Just forget, don't forget, there's smoke everywhere and you get stuff in your eyes. I need visine like my friends do. You know what that means. Okay, and then what I like to do is add a little salt to them. It has the flavor of, of like, a, like, a, like a pepper, but it's not, it's, I don't know, it's not, it's like on the mild side, until you have a spicy one. You know, but even the spicy one, the, like the spice lingers only for a little bit and it goes away. It smells fantabulous in here. All I, all I need right now is loud Mexican music, and it's like every weekend at my mom's house before we start cleaning. Okay? So you see how they're getting all toasty in here? And that's what we're kind of looking for, is that, is that charredness, you know? Um... Even like with these peppers, what you could do too is you make them all and you have leftovers. You could blend them all and add them to your mayonnaise. With the one that we made, the aioli, it'll be fantastic like that. A perfect fit for this is, hey, you go into a barbecue. You know, everyone always does the same, right? Bring the stuffed jalapenos. Who's in charge of that? Did you clean? There's always something. But imagine getting those same shishito peppers and just cooking them on the grill while you're cooking everything else. Yeah. That'd be perfect. The pan has to be really hot when you throw them in there. Um, if not, you're gonna be standing there for a long time for them to do what it's gotta do. You can hear them, they're popping. That's kind of what we want, is them just to, you know, try to build as much flavor as we can. See, and then if you wanna be really cool, you could throw a serrano pepper in there, right? And then, hey, let's see what happens. That's a joke, though. It's not a joke. That's the way we live it on the west side, like that. Okay. So then you could, you could go further with this if you want to. Um, I kind of like mine like this. And then all you do is you put them in your pan, like that. Bam! Those bad boys are ready. And then you can put more tahini on them. Uh, you can finish them off with like togarashi. You can finish it off with furikake if you want to, sesame seeds. Um, it's all up to you because it's, it's just spice, right? It's kind of like like a poblano, like the flavor, I guess. I've had them with, dressed with um, sesame oil, and that was delicious. You know, um, we always talk about, you know, aiolis and us making aiolis. Same thing, you can make an aioli for it and use that as the sauce. That is hot. Man, it's good though. If you have any questions about uh, I, uh, I can <laughs> Once you do with that, you can do anything with them. You know, you can make a sauce out of them. Um, you know, you could stuff them if you wanted to. But the thing is to show that, you know, at the end you can just cook them like that and they're, they're delicious. Mm -hmm.